Wait, Aiden Alzium was a cop? Hello, Internet. My name is Steve. Welcome to Rafo. In last week's Realmatic Theory video, I talked about how travel to cell through the cognitive realm, bad idea. You'll encounter a giant raging plasma storm called the door that will just tear you to shreds. So what exactly is the door? To explain that, we need to go way back in the history of the Cosmere. So here is the genesis of the Cosmere. Chapter 1. In the beginning, there was Adenalsium, and Adenalsium was God, or at least a god, or at least the power of a god. And it came to pass that Adenalsium was shattered, and verily sixteen people took up these shards and became gods in their own right. Yea, that is not to say that they were the same, for each shard had its own intent. But rather, each shard was equal in capacity, whether to build or destroy, purify or corrupt, harm or heal. These shards, for truly the bearers were, in a sense, no more, spread throughout the cosmere, and coming up their own world, humanity sprang in their ranks. The investiture of the Nelson permeated the realm's three, cognitive, spiritual, and physical. Heavy shards had power in each... Blah, 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 blah. Even knowing all of that, the weird complex history of it, it can still be really confusing understanding what exactly a shard is. Shards are gods, even though they're not gods. Because they ate a god? How do you break a god. Why are they all different? In order to give you a better understanding of this, I give you the cop car analogy. Once upon a time, a group of people were walking down a country road and they came across a cop car. Whether this car was in an accident or had just fallen off the back of a truck, we don't know, but it was there nonetheless. Being industrious and enterprising individuals and recognizing the need for the various responsibilities of law enforcement to be fulfilled, they each took a piece of equipment from this cop car. One person took a badge, one person took a first aid kit, one took a gun, one took a spotlight, etc, etc. Until everyone had an item and the cop car was empty. Returning to their various towns and living places, each person now had an element of policial authority. Just as the old saying says, if all you have is a hammer, everything is a nail. So these people would naturally look for ways to use the thing that they had gotten. The person with the first aid kit would look for people who needed band-aids. The guy with the radar gun would set up speed traps. And the person with the riot shield wouldn't stop telling their friends to throw things at them. So while these people weren't individually officers of the law, they each had a portion of the authority and capabilities of one. Just as each shard has a piece of divine power and an aspect of divine personality. There's a total of 16, we know 11-ish. Devotion, Aona, and Dominion, Sky, are on the planet Cell. Ruin, Ati, Preservation, Laris, on Scadriel. Endowment, Edgley, on Nalthus. Honor, Tanavast. Cultivation, and Odium, Rays, in the Rosharan system. Autonomy, Bavadin, on Taldane. And Ambition, Ulida, on Threnody. We know of one more that just wants to survive. So if Adenalsium was a cop, Odium got the police brutality part. Divine hatred without any other virtue to temper it. And he wasn't a good person anyway. Soon after the shattering, Odium followed ambition to the Threnody system. Round one, fight! Because if you want to become the number one big bad, your main rival is going to be the person who also wants to be number one by nature. They fought in the space between worlds in the Threnodite system, and chunks of Ambition's power were torn off, and they landed on at least Threnody, potentially creating the evil. Ambition then ran away, mortally wounded, and died and was splintered somewhere else. Now, quick note, just as Adenalsium was shattered, shards of Adenalsium can be splintered. In some cases, this creates smaller, self-aware entities of power, or it could be just a diffusion of power without any mind that can control it. Now, back to bad cop. But we are not done yet. After dispatching rival number one, Odium went for rival number two. Dominion, on Cell, who'd be more dangerous to him than a person who wants to control everything. Round two, fight! And as a lucky twofer, Devotion was on cell as well. Double kill. We don't know exactly how, but Odium splintered Devotion and Dominion. And trapped their power in the cognitive realm. And that became what's known as the door. This mindless, disembodied power that will vaporize anyone who wants to touch it. Now what happened on Cell is unique. Typically, most of a shard's power lies in the spiritual realm. Personal theory, I think Odium kept Dominion and Devotion's power in the cognitive realm, so they wouldn't be attached to the spirit web of the shard anymore, and so they'd be a lot more difficult to take up. Anyway, then he headed to Roshar. Oh, great. Fight. 
slowly strangling the Shard of Honor until Honor 2 was splintered. However, in the Greater Rosharan system, Odium was bound to a different planet, Braze, by the Oath Pact, or at least the Oath Pact was part of it. So not only are there four shards that have been splintered that we know of, there's also a few other weird shardic things that have happened in the cosmic. Shardic anomalies, if you will. That includes what's happened on Scadriel, where ruin and preservation now live in harmony. As well as Autonomy, who is on Taldane, who has at least one avatar on another planet. Not the full shard, but just part of it. That's the Isle of Pachi on First of the Sun. Yeah, remember that conflicting wobs about Pachi post on Reddit that just created this huge controversy? Yeah, that was mine. He. <laughs> so again, we know roughly 11 out of 16. You may also have heard of the 17th shard, which is first mentioned in the Way of Kings. The 17th shard isn't actually a shard of Adenalsium, but it's an organization of world hoppers dedicated to the keeping of those shards separate. It's also the information of Brandon's official fan forum. A lot of the information I get for these videos is actually taken from the discussions that happen on the 17th shard. So if you want bite-sized versions of what's happening on that forum, please subscribe to my channel so you're notified for my videos. If you'd rather go down any number of rabbit holes relating to thousands of potential Cosmere theories, head on over to the 17th shard so you can read and find out.